Hello, this is David from DN Cognitive Counseling. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but we got a really good question from Kelly on the site, who explained on the video that I did answering questions about Stockholm Syndrome. Kelly wrote, I enjoyed the video and found the comments about the secrecy helpful. I'm going to play devil's advocate on the closing comment if I may. And of course, Kelly, you may. Since you've asked for comments and questions, doesn't believing they will receive divine retribution in some form of karma or whatever personal belief you system you may have, isn't that adversarial to forgiveness, forgiveness and moving on? As in hoping someone will get their just dues, isn't it counter to the belief system you're talking about? Kelly, it's an excellent question. I thank you very much for it. And the truth of the matter is, no. It's not contrary at all. And I want you to think about this. You, in your life, have to do what you believe is correct because that's your system. Now, when I say you believe and you have to do what you're correct, I don't mean it from an esoteric term of you deciding what is right or what is wrong. What I mean is the things that are in your best interest will lead to better consequences in your life and the things that are done poorly in your life will lead to poorer consequences. This is how a lot of people suffer because they do specific behaviors that lead to their suffering. Now I realize we can get into a philosophical discussion of what is good and what does it mean to be good and what does it mean to be suffering and what does it mean, and I realize this can get very deep very quickly. But for the term of that video, specifically the question you asked me, the aspect of the person being able to move on in their own issue and comfort has nothing to do with their ability to be able to say, you know something? I do believe there's gonna be divine payback somewhere along the line as well. We sometimes believe that things happen to us because of divine payback of things. And that's not a bad thing to think. It helps to keep us in line. It helps us to understand what we think is right and wrong. It helps us to analyze deeper about these things. Now today, most of us are in our homes, we can't go anyplace. So we got plenty of time to think. We get to think about what we think our right and wrongs are, our reevaluations of our lives, and to understand what we believe is correct. We can forgive somebody for doing something, yet understand whatever they did, that's going to be their consequences to their life. We're not in control of it and we can't make it. But I do believe that in the end, people have to pay the piper. In Whether I'm right or wrong, I guess we'll find out. But I do believe it's true for a variety of different reasons, which I'm not going to get into because it would take a long time to do that. But I do hope you understand that you could have those two belief systems where I have to work on my ability to not allow something to destroy me at the same time to believe that whoever caused me harm eventually will have to pay theirs anyway. The same way that if I cause harm to somebody else, what does it do to me? What does it do to me if I hurt somebody else and I think I got away with it? The question is, will I? And that's really the idea I was trying to get to that. So you can have one belief about that and have a separate belief about the idea of retribution. So they're not conflict. So I hope that answers that question. And again, I thank you very much for asking that question. If you like this video, please hit like. If you didn't like it, you could please tell me why. Um, I didn't want to get too into the philosophical aspects because it could really get us into the weeds in terms of breaking down a lot of, of different belief systems and ideologies, both in philosophy, psychology, and in also uh, religious belief systems, which there are differences. But they, they all have a similar concept that, that divine retribution will be there one way or the other. Um, and even in non-religious ones, like in the concept of karma, that there's some element of the society, uh, not society, but the universe, having a way of putting things and writing the balance um, is, is also a concept that's there, that we find even in nature uh, that there is a balance that takes place. So I hope that that was helpful, and I hope that answered your question. And I very much thank you for Kelly for asking that question. And again... Um, I hope you'll join me next time when I discuss a little bit about what we can do with our time 
now that we're stuck in our homes.